Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my, I don't know, second or third or fourth public video um, tutorial. Um, my name is Jay, Jay Kilgore, and this tutorial is going to be posted at uh, www.jkilgore.com and maybe on my forums, www.tossthebox.com. Um, this tutorial is being brought to you today by Colorado Super Shoots. Um, coloradosupershoot.com um, and uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about RAW and the, the power of RAW um, we're going to work with our Wacom tablet which is a sponsor of Colorado Super Shoots Woo. Um, this is first and foremost I'm holding it up but you can't see it this is a tool that in my opinion no photographer should be without this is probably more important than the camera that you use um, but getting to the picture, um, this was from a, I agreed like an idiot to um, shoot this event um, a couple of years back on my birthday actually, like three or four years ago. And what had happened was I was shooting a darker skinned um, model and toward the end of the night, this the guy who brought me in to do the, the shooting, the photography, had this girl that he had a huge crush on and he wanted her to shoot um, so I didn't get a chance to change my lighting at all or anything like that so I just went ahead and I shot her well she was very fair skinned of course and uh, the model that I shot before she was she was either Indian or Latina um, either way she had darker skin so and then throughout the night you know I take a picture and everybody oh I want to see it I want to see it so things got kinda changed around which is another reason why I say you should shoot raw all the time because you never know what's gonna happen you never know what um, you just never know um, when I'm doing a model shoot I will often show the model the pictures on the LCD um, just so they can kinda see it right then and there um, I have a TV at the studio but I make it a personal point to never hook the camera up so they can see the pictures as they're being taken just because they'll become um, dependent on looking at those pictures and then your you know 45 minute shoot turns into an hour and a half so a lot of times when I'm showing them the pictures they will move things they'll forget which button cycles to the next picture or the picture before and then they'll end up changing something like my shutter or you know my f-stop or something like my aperture or something like that anyways in this case um, this was a picture this is the model um, I guess she's a model anyway she modeled for this and as you can see right here in this area right here it's completely overexposed there's no detail um, in her face at all um, other than her eyes there's currently a photographer here in Colorado who does that which I find kind of funny um, this is just a poorly shot photo um, there's no detail in the skin at all um, just her eyes are vibrant and if you're doing that I guess it's kind of cool because her eyes are really jumping out there at you but from a photography point of view presenting this to a customer to a client this is totally unacceptable and it's amateurish at best um, there is a way to save this of course because I chose to shoot this in RAW um, I shoot everything at this time I was shooting raw plus JPEG and I shot this with the 20D um, and I used an Alien B beauty dish um, and I had it set to camera left high and above um, and I had a I, I call it a condom but I guess the proper term is sock um, to go over it um, you know we don't want any little beauty dish babies running around um, so I shot this. This is the JPEG straight out of the camera. And we're going to pull up Photoshop here. And this is the raw image. Um this is straight out the uh straight out the camera. Camera raw as you can see is everything is set. Excuse me, everything is set to default. This actually came from a CD or from a DVD. So I I'm not able to have the ACR or the what Photoshop creates so you never ever destroy the the raw image um, so if we take a look at that and at this you'll see that pretty much even the raw image 
has a little bit more detail than the JPEG. Lots of times people say, well, if you shoot it right, then you don't ever need to worry about RAW. And I say, you know what, there's something, there's a lot extra you get from RAW that you can never get with a JPEG. You get deeper blacks, you get brighter whites, there's just a ton of things that you, that you can get. Um, if you don't shoot RAW, um, I say start shooting RAW plus small JPEG or RAW plus large JPEG so you can have your JPEG but I guarantee you in two years from now when you're shooting RAW you'll thank me but again as we look at this picture here we can see that there's a lot more detail from the RAW image versus the JPEG if this is all I shot this is what I'd have to deal with tons of burning and masking and stuff like that that we just don't really have time to go over um, or go through on this picture so we're gonna open this one up and we're gonna close it down so now we find ourselves on the raw um, there's a couple of things that I see wrong personally with this picture right off the bat obviously the overexposed areas from shooting the, the darker skin model the darker tone model and the white balance is off there's no contrast it's just kind of a block picture which is to be expected this is the canvas um, as I said this was shot my 20D um, but uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is before I do any kind of correction or anything to the picture um, I you have to in my opinion get the exposure and all that correct again in a perfect world I wouldn't have to do this or I wouldn't have to bump it that much but this world isn't perfect and this is perfect for this tutorial so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bump up the exposure just to get a little bit more detail bump up here in Photoshop the exposure to get a little bit well we'll go down to get a little bit of um, correction there not bump up but we're gonna go backwards here um, looks good just that alone looks good um, we went down about half a stop here's what the picture looked like straight out of the camera just going down half stop it looks that much better um, well, I'm going to bump it down a little bit more just because I'm going to be dramatic for um, this tutorial purposes. This is at a full stop. So this is a full stop. Now when you look at it, it looks kind of muddy. It looks kind of dirty, at least to me. Um, it looks dirty. So what we're going to do is the one thing that I always do is add some contrast to it. We're going to make all of the shadow details pop. We're going to make our eyes come out a little bit more. Um, we're going to just kind of bring it out. This is what happens if we go the wrong way. Just kind of ugh. But this is when we would bring it out there. That I think looks a crap load better. And then we will adjust the brightness just a tad bit to add back our specular highlights. Um, really that's pretty much it that's the power of raw um, I have the heat on here in the house and I think it's about 180 degrees so um, I'm not sure if I'm wanting to be done with this just so I can go turn the heat down or if I'm done but I, I think that I've shown the power I suppose what we'll do is we'll pull this up and then we'll go back here to the JPEG and we will look Remember, if we look here, no details, no details. If we look here, we have we have detail. We have skin. We have everything back in our face. When this started, some something similar to that. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do kind of a walkthrough uh, of how to edit, um, or how I edit at least. And um, I will go ahead and uh, start that up. But this is the power of raw and um, this is just a video that I wanted to create just to show you know raw good for her she's wearing a clear strap bra preferably a strapless or no bra at all but um, here we are zoomed in we have detail Houston we have detail we have perfect detail this is only this is something that can only be done in RAW. If you did this with a, a JPEG, you turn a JPEG to a TIFF, you wouldn't have anything. So, thank you to the power of RAW.
the power of Ra compels you. And look at that. We've lost everything there. We have it all back here. Um, thank you for watching this, and hopefully you understand and appreciate the, the power of Ra. I know it can seem scary to, to work with Ra, but it's not really. Tons of great books out there. I'm going to put some working man, um, just simple how-to tutorials um, out there for you to, to check out as well. Um, thanks for visiting my blog, jkilgore.com, and uh, hope you come back for more.